Good afternoon everybody and welcome to another session on engineering graphics with me Yash Chawla from Parul Institute of Engineering and Technology. Uh, last time we finished projections of line and this year we are going uh, this time we are going to begin with projections of plane. Now the line projection and the plane projection are quite a bit similar. So let's get to the basics of it first. Today we are going to discuss different cases of projections of plane and then we are going to solve a few examples uh, which will be of uh, the plane perpendicular or parallel to a plane and inclined to a single plane. Again there are three types of principal planes, horizontal plane, vertical plane and profile plane. We will not get into, get into the details of it because this was discussed last time. There are three types of views, front view is on uh, vertical plane, top view is on horizontal plane and uh, side view is there on the profile plane. These are the four quadrants, first, second, third and fourth formed by the x and y axis. This is the horizontal view, uh, sorry the isometric view of the uh, quadrants. The front view is there on the VP and top view is there on HP, the first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant and fourth quadrant. The same philosophy of line or uh, endpoint also is true with the planes that if the plane is if the plane or any part of the plane is above VP, uh, sorry above HP and in front of VP then it is in the first quadrant. If it is above HP and behind VP then it is in the second quadrant. If it is below HP and behind VP then it is in the third quadrant and if it is below HP and in front of VP then it is in the fourth quadrant. Okay, so now we come to the different cases of the projections of plane. There are basically three cases where, which are there. A plane parallel to one and hence perpendicular uh, to the other principal plane. A plane perpendicular to one and inclined to the other principal plane a plane inclined to both the both the principal planes so these are the three cases that we are going to discuss today okay so let's see the first case now this is the first case here we i'll show you with an example that i have with me first let's see this is a rectangle that I have. Now this can be considered as a plane. Why? Because it has two dimensions. One is the width and the other one is the height. So if I have two, uh, I can look at it from the front and look at it from the top. So let's see what the difference is. Now I will keep it. What do you see? You see a perfect rectangle because this is the top view, the top view and when, when you see it from the front, exactly from the front, when you see it from the front, you will have absolutely straight line. So as you can see, the miniature box that you are seeing is the front camera that is uh, or the front observer and the rectangle that you are seeing is the top observer. In this case, the vertical, pl uh, the vertical plane, uh, this uh, plane or say the rectangle is perpendicular to the vertical plane and is exactly parallel to what to, uh, to the horizontal plane. Now what happens, I will change the case without changing the view. Now what I have done is, this is the second case. First we will see, uh, we will see it on the slide once. Okay, sorry. Yeah. So this is in the second case what will happen is that I have made this perpendicular to HP. Now the top view will be a straight line by because it is perpendicular to HP and the front view would be a rectangle because it is parallel to HP. Hence if it is perpendicular to HP then it will be parallel to VP and if it is uh, th this is the case and if this happens then what uh, what it is it is perpendicular to vp and parallel to what to hp okay so 
this was the first condition in which the uh, plane is parallel to either one of the planes and it is perpendicular to other as you can see here in the slide also this plane is perpendicular to vp so the perpendicular we have a straight line on vp and it is parallel to hp so the top view is exactly the same rectangle which is formed on the horizontal plane and this is how we put it on paper that you already know as we have done with the points and with the lines okay the next condition is that it is inclined with one of the planes and it is parallel to the other plane now what is the case let's see again first i'll uh, i'll keep the plane parallel to hp and then what i what i'll do is please observe closely what i'm doing is that this this point is constant and i'm moving this plane upwards now what happens here is that you can see that the size of the rectangle actually decreases the size of the rectangle on hp will decrease and on vp there will be a straight line of the same length but it will be at an angle with the horizontal xy now if i do it the other way around now if i do it this way now this point this point is constant so what i am doing is i am now making an angle with hp i am making an angle with hp so this is the case understood okay so this is uh, you can see in the slide again that it is making an angle with hp and it is exactly perpendicular to vp hence this straight line on vp of the same length and you can see that tv is smaller than t1 that we saw that we'll see later on with the comparison and this is what we get on paper now the next case is that it makes an angle with both the hp as well as vp so let's see again both the views we'll have both the views now let's see right now it is parallel to hp and uh, it is exactly perpendicular to vp first what i'll do is i'll make an angle with hp now the next thing that i'm going to do is at the same angle i'm going to make it make an angle with hp so now you can see that the true shape of the object has been lost in the front view that is uh, that is there uh, in the blue background that you are having that is my shirt in the small box and the top view you are seeing on the bigger screen in both the cases the exact rectangle is not visible now if i show it with a circle it will be even better understood in form of a circle now this is a circle that i have now as you can see the top view is a perfect circle the front view is a straight line when uh, we have it parallel to hp and perpendicular to vp now first again i'll do i'll what i'll do is i'll make an angle with i'll make an angle with uh, vp so what happens is still in the front view it is a straight line whereas in the top view it becomes a instead of a circle it becomes a say an ellipse now if i make an angle with hp as well so there is an angle with hp as well as vp so in both the cases instead of a circle or a straight line what i have i have with me a uh, ellipse in both the cases that is in the front view that is there in the small box and the top view which is there uh, on your big screen okay now let's compare all the three as i was saying that you will be able to judge what the difference is between the three once we see all the three together now this is the case where uh, the plane is perpendicular to vp and it is parallel to hp now what happens is that the true shape the exact shape of the rectangle is seen on hp that is the horizontal projection that will be the top view and a straight line of equal to the length of the rectangle is seen on the vertical projections that is the top view sorry the front view and let's see in this case what happens is that the shape of tv2 that is a top view in the second case is smaller than the uh, in the first case why is that because the rectangle has risen from here and this is constant so this length 
on the front view will be same but for the top view what will happen is this uh, the height of the rectangle or the length of the rectangle will decrease because the amount of area covered by it would be less and in the last case the this length also decreases and the true shape uh, or the line will also change into a rhombus as you can see in the figure 3 which is being pointed right now so these are the three different cases of plane that we observe the first case is that it is perpendicular to either one of the plane and it is uh, parallel to the other in this it is perpendicular to exactly perpendicular to one of the plane and it is uh, making an angle with the other and in the last one we have like it is making an angle with both the HP as well as VP okay so let's get down to solving some examples now this is a very simple example that you are seeing on your screen a circular plate 30 mm in diameter and uh, negligible thickness is parallel to VP its center is 20 mm above HP and 22 mm in front of VP draw its projections now what does it say it says that there is a circular plate the diameter uh, you all know what is diameter diameter is 30 mm and it is of negligible thickness why negligible thickness because there is no third dimension there is no thickness of this plate it is only a straight line so in all case, cases of plane the thickness will be considered as negligible whether it is given the question or no uh, then if, you, if it is not given in the question then it is assumed that it is negligible and if it is given in the question that it is negligible then obviously you have to take it as negligible and if it is given that the thickness is something or uh, say 10 mm then it becomes a question of solids instead of just a plane so they say that the diameter the end points that the uh, the diameter is 30 mm and the thickness is negligible so we have to draw its projection so let's first see what is the exact uh, front view and the top view that we get now this is the top view that you will get okay now this uh, thing is in the first quadrant and nothing about it it is mentioned that it is it is parallel to VP so it says that it is parallel to VP so I'm sorry now what happens it if, if it is parallel to VP then it will be exactly perpendicular to what perpendicular to HP okay here I have it exactly under the camera okay now this in this case the diameter is 30 mm it is parallel to VP and hence it will be perpendicular to what it will be perpendicular to HP now you uh, can see this uh, the top view is there on your bigger screen and the front view is there on your uh, smaller screen now what happens is that the height or the point where the central is located is not given so this is also true and if I take it a little bit upper so if you zoom out a little bit on the front view that is there on the smaller section if you zoom out a little bit let's zoom out a little bit yeah so you can see that this can be located anywhere on the height of the HP can be anywhere whereas on the uh, top view that is on v, uh, sorry the top view on uh, HP will not differ so this is the case so how we will draw it on paper let's see now first what I'll do is I'll write down my given data okay the given the first thing that is given is that uh, the circular plate is 30 mm in diameter so my D is, is equal to 30 mm okay the next is that uh, it is of negligible uh, thickness that you know why it is given and it is parallel to VP so the second point that I'll write down is that it is parallel to the vertical plane okay then its center is located 20 mm above HP and 22 mm in front of VP now I'll draw the quadrant this is just for explanation you need not draw this this is X x dash y and y dash now it says the center of the circle is located 
20 mm above HP. Now this is HP and this is VP. So my, uh, I'll just take us. Uh, I'll mark this few things. I've marked 10 here and 20 here and again I marked 10 20 so let's see 10 20 mm above uh, 20 mm above HP that means from this point it is 20 mm above so this is the point and it is 22 mm in front of VP front of VP means in front of VP in this way so this is 20 so my 22 will lie somewhere here now what will happen is I'll just extend it So I have my center of my circle somewhere around here. Now it is parallel to VP and perpendicular to HP. So my circle will come something of this sort. Okay. Now this is for explanation. Now we will draw exactly exact thing on the paper. First what I have to do is I'll draw my line XY. Today I'm equipped with my instruments. So I will draw something which will be more perfect than what I did last time. Okay, so this is line x, y. Now, I need to first mark my HP and VP. So, in the first quadrant, VP is always up 